So you've been thinking about getting a boat, but can't decide if it's for you? Well, my friend, you have come to the right place as today we are going to discuss the 12 best parts of boat ownership. First, I wanna thank those who commented on the last video letting me know your favorite parts of being a boat owner or boating. And I tried to use as many of those comments in this video as I could. Also, for those of you who reached out on Facebook and Instagram and sent your videos and your comments over there as well, tried to incorporate as many of those as I could also. But let's go ahead and dive right off that swim platform into this one. Number one on our list is going to be that everybody can participate, kind of like DC Blake talks about right here where he was able to take his daughter and her entire crew out for her birthday. When I say everybody can participate, unlike most motorsport hobbies where a vehicle can only carry one to four people, boats in large can usually accommodate a lot more than that. For example, my everyday boat has a rated capacity of 12 people, which means I can bring plenty of family, friends, and coworkers along. Well, maybe we'll skip the co-workers because the last thing I want to do is talk about work when I'm out in the water. Also, there's no real age restrictions to participate. No special abilities or physical skills that are needed. Basically, if you can sit up safely in a seat, you are likely to be able to enjoy this hobby. Boating can also be a great transitional hobby for these reasons. In other words, if you've got a growing family, maybe that Saturday where you used to go spend a track day out on the motorcycle, all of a sudden you can spend that day with your entire crew out on the water enjoying themselves. And number two on our list is going to be, well, that it's relaxing. This can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. It can mean anything from a quiet time out on the lake when there's nobody out there just enjoying it by yourself, literally to hating all the prep work that goes into it, every single part of that. But once you actually get yourself and your crew out there in the water, all that just melts away and you really do enjoy your time. Most boaters will use this time to disconnect. They'll turn off phones or just choose not to answer them and likely just relax and enjoy the serene environment. Some will enjoy spending that relaxing time out there fishing with their family and their crew. Sailors even get to take this one a little bit of a step further, that's right. Those lucky bastards get to go out there, set an autopilot, throw some sails up, turn the engine off, and relax and enjoy this in complete silence, just gliding along the water. Sometimes I really am jealous of you guys. Others will choose to go out there and find their favorite spot on the water, whether it be a sandbar or an island, they're going to head out there and toss the anchor and let everybody unwind. This is a popular thing to do on the water as it adds a social interaction feature to it, but yet still keeps it in that select environment that can only be accessed by a watercraft. And number three on the list, well that's going to be bikinis. This should be no surprise it's on this list, as this is probably a favorite of many boaters. This is one of the things that makes this one of the best hobbies overall. I mean, somebody's got to let me know what other motorsports are there out there or hobbies are out there where it is completely acceptable and completely normal for women to walk around dressed like this. It is kind of liberating though, when you really think about it, for all of us to be able to walk around half dressed the entire time we're out there spending hours together just to be out there hanging out. God bless boating. Number four on our list, well, that's going to be water sports, kind of like underscore ds underscore says here the beautiful weather water sports wake surfing evening cruises lots of people get involved in boating just for these reasons what other hobby can you have where you can go out and bite your boss out on the water and do this to him and have him thank you for it some will choose to spend this time out there with family and friends taking turns taking it easy just carving up the wave and relaxing some going to take it a little bit further. They'll take it to some high-flying extremes. No matter what you and your crew decide to do at this time, it will prove to be some great bonding time when everybody gets to disconnect from real life for a little bit. That's right, you won't see any emails being sent, no text messages. Really, you're just going to see everybody kind of out there relaxing, having an awesome time, enjoying themselves, getting a little bit of exercise, and actually just having a few laughs with each other and really relaxing. And the number five part of boat ownership that's absolutely incredible, well, that's adventure boating. As Matt mentions in his comment, this really can be one of the most exciting parts of boating. And that is planning trips on the water to places you have never been to. Heck, some of these places you've never even heard of, and never even thought about even being able to try and get to. This is one of those things that truly excites me about boating. It is completely awesome to be able to plan a trip where your mode of transportation is no longer your car. There really is something very gratifying about arriving at your final destination by boat. We do several of these trips a year down here in the southeast. And I really do need to try and figure out a way to get some of you guys involved. If you guys got any ideas about a trip you'd like to do or something we should throw together, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Facebook and Instagram and we'll see what we can work out on getting that one done. And number six on our list about great parts of boat ownership, well, that's the memories made while boating. 
Kind of like High Flying talks about right here, you never know what's really going to happen from day to day in that boating lifestyle, but you know what? Those memories will stay with you forever. One of our friends who was on our last boating vacation when we went down to Exuma in the Bahamas said she felt bad for her kids' future significant others as some of the things they have done on boats already, the expectation for her kids' future vacations and trips are going to be so through the roof that she's not sure how their significant others are going to keep up with that. The memories made on those trips will definitely stick with her children for a lifetime and hopefully they can repeat those same memories with their kids later on in life. It doesn't always have to be these kind of extreme trips though to create these memories. Like Chris mentions, it can be just something as simple as going out there spending some quality time with the family, going out catching some fish. Once again, a day out on the water is better than any day sitting around the house. Number 7 on this list is one that some won't think much about but it's a great way to introduce kids to responsibility by going ahead and assigning them various tasks to do each time that you take the boat out. This is, can be something as simple as just letting them get the lines ready or letting them pull the fenders out and getting them set up, but it will get them more involved in the whole boating lifestyle and actually honestly will probably make them enjoy the boating lifestyle just a little bit more. This also teaches them the whole reward for a task. So every time that you're going out on the boat, they understand that by doing their task, they've assisted in getting the boat ready and getting you guys ready to go, and they get to enjoy their day out on the water because of it. Number eight is going to be time in the sun. I'm no doctor, but there has been plenty of articles posted about some of the health and mood benefits that come along with exposure to sunlight. Yes, of course, if you're going to do extreme exposure to sunlight, you're going to need to wear sunscreen, but... Some of the benefits are elevated serotonin levels, which leads to a better mood, also helping calm you and keep you more focused. And if you've ever seen any of my other videos, you definitely understand that most of the boaters that we'll meet out in the water, well, a lot of them do need some extra focus in their life. And number nine on the list, well, that's going to be meeting new people. When out in the water with fellow boaters, it's pretty easy to meet new people, whether it be at the marina or the sandbar. One of the easiest parts of this is you guys already have something in common. Typically, that's going to be a love of boating. I have met some of the most incredible people through boating. I've met a group of friends that we go on a boating vacation every year. We head down to the Bahamas, take the boats, just our group. And you know what? We would have never met if it wasn't from boating. We all live in different parts of the country. We come from different lifestyles and different paths of life. And it would be a shame that we would have never met. But without boating, we would definitely not be together. Just last year, me and one of those friends, we led a group of 20 random boats across to the Bahamas. And after that trip, we now have 100 new boating friends. Guys, if you've ever been on any one of these trips with me, whether it be some of the local trips around South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, or Florida, or the Bahamas, just want to let you know I love each and every one of you guys, and I look forward to seeing you on some of the future trips. If meeting new people is my favorite part of boating, number 10 is definitely my second favorite part, and that is the new places you will see. There are so many beautiful things in this world, and well, there are a lot that can only be experienced by a boat. You'll be shocked once you get into this boating lifestyle the kinds of things you will find you can see and do with just a little research and just a small sense of adventure. Boating does open up a whole new world of sights and experiences that you and your crew will get to enjoy. Things and places that you never even knew existed will now become part of your life and your vacation plans. They don't always have to be huge planned out trips either. I challenge any of you who have never done or really tried to plan a boating trip to do and see something new or experience something different to go out there and just try it once. I promise you it will change your life. The number 11 thing to love about boating is it can leave a legacy. What will you be remembered for when you're gone? If you're a boating family, it's not impossible that you'll be remembered for many generations through boating. My grandfather and I, we were never very close. It wasn't because we didn't love each other. He was just from a different time and he really didn't show emotion the same way that most people would show it. And it was kind of understood between us. When he passed away many years ago, I received his boat in the will. This was my first boat, but did it ever change my life and many others? Honestly, I'm not sure how often he would be discussed today if it wasn't for that boat because he was a very reclusive person. But since he started my boating lifestyle, he's mentioned all the time. And even after that, when I decided it was finally time to upgrade my boat, I actually took that boat instead of selling it to somebody else and gave it to another family member to continue in his legacy. And that family has now had their lives changed by him as well. 
And number 12, rounding out our list today, is going to be docker garage boating. This could be spending a little bit of time working on your boat or cleaning it. It can be hanging out at the dock or enjoying some nice family time down at the marina, or maybe just going into your garage on that cold January morning, taking the cover off the boat, turning the radio on, and relaxing. All of those, even though they might not sound that great, can actually be just as relaxing as any wonderful day on the water. Thanks for hanging around to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you think it'll help somebody else in your life who's looking at getting a boat, go ahead and share it. And you know what? Why not? If you hung out this long, go ahead and subscribe and hang out with us some more. I appreciate it, guys. Have a great day.